sponsor the Nathan Honus Fitness Lifestyle channel video and this week I have a special expert, Alex Ash, and he's been on before because he's actually helped me develop a handstand towards my ambition of doing the human flag, but nowhere near there at the moment. But I've hit a bit of a stick point because Alex has been helping me, I've been sending him the videos and it's got to the point that he's noticed I've got some tightness. So I think today you're going to put me through an overhead mobility, aren't you? Yeah, so take it from the last episode that Nathan and I did. We're going to show all of you uh, maybe the sticking points for your flexibility, what's maybe prohibiting you from getting into that nice straight line handstand. So we're going to go from here and let's get some mobility assessment done. Yeah, sure. So when it comes to the overhead mobility, there's actually different parts to this, isn't there? Yeah, that's right, Nathan. There are different parts and we'll be looking at all three of them today. So the first one is we're going to test your limitation, find out where it is. Second, we're going to do some mobilising techniques. So I'm going to walk through names and show him some mobilising techniques. And then the third, we're going to stretch. All right, we're going to help you increase that range, open up, so you can get that handstand that you want. Brilliant. I mean, I'm super excited. Let's start with some more tests then. Let's see what happens. <laughs> I'm going to demonstrate for Nathan here how to do the test to see and find out your limitations. So all you're going to need, you're going to need a wall and obviously yourself. Come next to the wall here. You're gonna take one step forward. Okay, you're gonna sit back just slightly, downward, and then you're gonna push your abdomen in so your lower back is in contact with the wall. You're gonna straighten your arms, put your head back, and raise your arms up overhead, okay? As you can see here, make sure your lower back is in contact with the wall and your arms are straight, you might want to bend your arms to make it easier, you might want to wrap them in, make sure they're straight, just so that you can assess where you're at, okay? So, get a wall, get a mirror beside you so you can see where your limitations are, or a camera on your phone, and record it, and then you can see. So as you can see with Nathan here, his arms coming overhead are only getting this far. This is due to tightness, maybe in the lats and the shoulders, and you see how he's got his lower back in contact with the wall. That's the most important bit. So just arch for me a bit, Nathan. When he arches, you can actually get further overhead. And that's where the compensation comes in here. So when we push our abdomen against the wall again, yeah, it decreases the amount of flexion he's able to get. So we're gonna work on some points to help this and improve it. And there it is, new package. Gift from Fitville, as you can see, I've got a pair of trainers which is very well used. The ones from before, really comfortable, love them for walking. And now, another pair. Obviously, you get the booklet with it. Let's see what these look like. And there they are, nice white. It's one of my favourite colours, white. Uh, they just get dirty really quickly. Yes, I'll be trying these today. Just want to go through the benefits of switching your trainer to Fitville trainer, this particular one. And that is, you're going to, number one, with your daily workouts, you're going to be able to prevent strain, ankle and knee injuries. Number two, it's equipped with wide toe boxes and provides you with cushioned and comfortable experience. Number three, it's anti-torsion TPU design keeps you stable through extreme cross-court multifunctional movements, in particular for hip workouts. Number four, two widths, wide 2E, and extra wide 4E, wide toe box. Hopefully in time, you'll say goodbye if you do suffer with any niggles and painful joints, in particular around your toes and your ankles. Hopefully this is really gonna help you and also, if you have bunions, it's going to really reduce that as well. Fitville Snickers are made especially for those with wider feet, allowing you to move more freely. And if you take action today, you'll get a special 10%. Check the comments. It's all on there. Okay, let's go back to my video. Grab yourself a foam roller. We're going to use this to do some soft tissue release on our lats where we're going to be experiencing our tightness, okay? Yeah, we're going to get a bit of a flex there. Yeah. So we're getting that, boom, right? So what you need to do, we're going to do 
one minute to two minutes each side. Lay this on the floor and we're going to go straight into it. Lay this on the ground here. I'm going to come on to one side, lay down, place your lap in contact with the front roller. You can have your arms stretched out here, you can have it to the side. And all you're going to do is gently roll up and down the lap, right? You want to perform this on each side for one to two minutes. Finding the tight spots, maybe working around there, but make sure you're breathing in and out, relaxing, and good stretch. My turn. Your three. Rolling all the way up down the lat. All the way up to the armpit. Oh, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> when you, it yeah, when you get it. <laughs> yeah. oh, I can feel that there's like a little knot. <laughs> oh, I can now feel that in the lats. Um, so that's test number two done, isn't it? Yeah, so we've done our final our limitation in the shoulders here, and now we've worked to mobilize it with some soft tissue release with our trusty foam roller. Yes. And now, me and Nathan, we're gonna get some more mobilization technique. You ready? Let's do it. Do it. Right, so coming straight in, we're gonna do some mobilization for our shoulders, just to help open us up after we've done a soft tissue release. I'm gonna demonstrate for Nathan here how to do this. You're gonna need a resistance band, preferably a light resistance, and you're gonna need something that's gonna be about shoulder level, okay? So, well, look at this, the, the resistance band's fairy has been here, and it's been done <laughs> for us, amazing. So, once you've wrapped your resistance band, Round something that's going to be about shoulder level. Place your hand through the resistance band here. Grab the resistance band, and what we're going to do, take a step forward so there's a bit of tension on the band, and you can step forward and step back based on how hard the resistance is. Right? So, what we're going to do is we're going to bring, we're bringing it overhead and around to the side, opening up external rotation and then internally rotating the shoulder here. By bringing the band around here. This technique is actually used, and I've got it from someone called Yuri Meinstein, and he's an acrobat, a hand balancer himself, and this is a great way, one of my favorite ways to mobilize my shoulder before I do any handstands. So Nathan's gonna have a little gander here. Yeah. Let's have a go, Nathan. So, place your hand through, grab the band. So place it through, and then grab the band, and have it from the there, sort of thing. Yeah, so this is going to help it just lock in and it's not going to go anywhere. Come away from the wall. This way. Yeah. And we'll start closer to here and then we can always add more tension. So bringing the arm up and over. Just from there. Yeah. Up and over. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah. Right under that. Yeah, right down to the waist. Yeah. Yeah. And then back over. Internal rotation and then internal rotation. And then right side, yeah. Internal rotation here, bringing the hand behind, belt bending at the elbow here. Yeah. So it comes behind, and so back over, back over. Back over. Back over. Back over. Back over. So you can see it's opening up, it's shoulder, it's pec minor here, it's front delt, it's bicep. Really, really good for overhead position for the hands. So we're going to repeat this for anywhere between 30 to 40 seconds. Let's go. Yeah. 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 So we want you to repeat this for anywhere between 10 to 20 repetitions or until your shoulder feels like it's all the ball. How does that feel for you, Nathan? I can, it feels, I can tell there's some restriction there when I'm doing it. Yeah. But as I'm doing each rep, I can feel it's moving and something like So it's quite, I can certainly feel the benefit of doing it, yeah. that's for sure. We'll give you the reps, 10 to 20 reps, perform on one side and then the other. You can do this for one to two sets. Taking a minute or so in between your sets. Right, so the next one, we're gonna get on to some stretching. We're gonna show you the most effective stretches for opening up your shoulder. Let's get into it. Excited now, because we're on test three. Yeah, we're, we're on test three. Everyone, we are on test three. All you need is a pole, a broomstick. I'm not gonna make you do any cleaning. Will you make a new cleaning? Um, no, we can do, they feel like it. You come to my house if you want. <laughs> yeah, exactly, you can come mine as well, right? We'll get that sorted. So all we're gonna need is one of these or a broomstick. Come and do the cleaning at mine and Nathan's because we really appreciate it, wouldn't we? <laughs> and you're gonna need a bench, right? So we're gonna help open up our lats here. It's, we're gonna be doing a stretch called the butcher box. Yeah. So we're gonna get straight into it. 
So you're gonna begin, palms are gonna be facing upwards, you're gonna grab the bar about the shoulder distance apart. You're gonna come down onto your knees, place one elbow on top of the bench and then the other. All right, you're gonna step, bring your knees back so your hips are in, stacked upon your knees and then you're going to push your shoulders towards the ground. It's gonna open up your chest, All right? Main thing is, we're pushing down, trying to open up the chest here, but we're not arching the back. That's a no. Okay. We're keeping that neutral spine position, pushing through, making sure the whole stretch is onto the shoulders. Okay. We want to want to be holding this position for 30 to 60 seconds. We'll give you the recommended sets and reps after we have demonstrated the exercise. So we're gonna get Nathan here and get him into this position. Right guys, coming to the final part of the video, we're gonna be getting into the stretches now. Right, so and what we're gonna do, I've demonstrated for Nathan, so we're gonna put him into this position now. So you wanna just grab the ball for me then, Nathan? Yeah. Okay, you wanna be grabbing it, palms facing upward, hands about a shoulder distance apart, right? Yeah. So, what we're gonna do is gonna bring these knees back. Excellent. Yeah, make sure your elbows are onto the bench. Okay, and then you're gonna sink your head through here. All right, main thing, bring these knees back a little more for me. Brilliant. Yeah, so you notice his hips are stacked upon his knees here, right? We're gonna bring the bar overhead, right? His elbows are onto the bench, right? Pull these ribs down for me, excellent. You see he's creating this neutral spine position, right? This is putting, you see all that tension onto the lats there? That's what we're gonna stretch. So I want you to take a big inhale for me then. Exhale, and you're just gonna push your shoulders through towards the ground, excellent. Yeah, your body might want to start bending from the spine. Don't allow this, right? We want to make sure that all the tension is coming on to here and we're stretching this muscle because that's going to allow us to get up and overhead in our hands now. Okay, we want you to hold this for 30 to 60 seconds and repeat this for two to three sets. Taking 30 seconds to a minute in between our sets, all right? How's that feeling for you, Nathan? Yeah, all good, mate. Yeah, it's all good. All the stretch, which is good. Yeah. Where do you feel the stretch? It's literally down my lats. So I'm just coming straight yeah. up. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. That's what I feel. Excellent. So we're gonna go and we're gonna show you the last stretch, which is absolutely great. You ready for this, Nathan? Let's do it. Let's finish this off, man. Boom. Last one. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> right, we're on the final stretch exercise for this episode, right? This is what I find probably the most, one of the most effective. Um, it's just great for overall shoulder health and mobility. Um, you haven't done the stretch before, have you? Done? No, 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 no. Right. Right. Rest in peace. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna show, we're gonna need some gymnastic rings, but do not fear my fellow friends, because if you don't have gymnastic rings, you can use a bar, um, a barbell on um, a rack, or what's even better is a smith machine, because you can adjust the levels. So we're gonna just demonstrate with the rings, and um, you're gonna need to set them up about head height, um, and shoulder distance apart, okay? And um, if you do want it, increase the intensity, lower them closer to the floor, if you want to decrease the intensity, bring them higher, it's going to feel a lot less intense on your shoulders. Right, so we're going to get straight into it. So what I would like you to do, you're going to grab your wooden rings here, you're going to lower down onto your knees here, take a big breath, inhale, and you're going to come forward, lowering the hips down, relaxing the shoulders, keeping the straight arms here, not bending up, we're not doing any pull-ups, um, and we're just relaxing into that stretch, okay? Should feel a nice stretch down through the lats, even through the whole anterior chain of the body, come at the front onto the abs and the shoulders. So main thing here is to breathe in and out through the nose, relaxing into the stretch, okay? Right, it's Nathan's go, so. Breathing forward. Breathing forward, driving the hips forward, relaxing down into the hand. Feel that lower back, like middle part into lower 
and but the lats are good as well. Yeah. Amazing, it's just starting to relax a bit more now. James lift. <laughs> <laughs> and then slowly come back up. Cool, that was a tough one that. So that's all for the test done. So as a summary, yeah. How many times do I need to do that? What's the plan of action? So going forward, recommend to do what we've done today, two to three times per week. Static stretching after your workout. We want to maximize the gains, not kill them. So put this in as part of your routine, okay? And if you have started your handstand journey and this has helped you, let me and Nathan know. Tag us, send us a link, send us some pictures. We love to hear from all of you and especially we want to help you be the best version of yourself. So thanks again for having me on Nathan. It's been awesome. awesome. Great right. to have you on yeah. yeah. Obviously we're gonna continue coming back, so hopefully I'm gonna do this a bit. Start the yeah. handstand again, and hopefully I'll progress that a little bit further. Yeah, yeah. And we'll be back again for you to teach me more about calisthenics. Yeah, it might be round three. <laughs> <laughs> of course, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, hit that bell button, give it a like, and leave any comments relevant to this particular video. Remember, it's out every Wednesday. Catch you soon. See you later.